because <laughs> it's six seventeen, and we seventeen minutes in to some good bullshitting. All right, so all right, go outside, go to the car, because there's been several several requests for the car. Uh, but by the way, here's the daily run up, y'all, because this is the show that will run up on your ass whether we have reception or not. Uh, uh, Georgia is on my mind at the end of tonight. <laughs> Georgia will be on our minds. We're going to tell you how to vote early in the Peach State. Uh, why not? It, it, why not, Fi? Yep. Why not, Fi? Uh, we got two little girls outside of a Taco Bell trying to use their Wi-Fi just to go to school. We're going to talk about the uh, socioeconomic gaps that that, that highlights in our society. Uh, new CDT to CDC definition, uh, the Center for Domicile Control, because the CDC uh, has now... Uh, and I'm just wondering why this is coming from the Center for Disease Control. Trust me, guys, I'm trying to plug. We're we going to plug through this show. We're going to plug through this show. It's been tough today. Uh, <laughs> before we get to that, we're going to talk about Fancy Nancy. <laughs> we're going to talk about Fancy Nancy. Uh, Pelosi, she got caught up in the salon trying to get her hair done. Uh, but before we get to that, Savage AF, uh, we are on Monday through Fridays here on IG Live. Most of the time live, we fight through reception issues. <laughs> but uh, the, the Savage AF, it, it's a podcast as well. Wherever you get your podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spotify, SoundCloud. Uh, get on that. We are here for you Monday through Friday. Mondays and Friday, we're on 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to start today's... Uh, I don't know if you guys uh, got to see um, what I'm going to call the bar is closing because uh, William below the bar, our AG, Attorney General, top cop in the nation, sat down with Wolf Blitzer on CNN. I just brought Shang back in, so he should be here in a second. Bang a dang. Shang Fang. It worked. A little better. A little bit better. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, we got you, bro. Yeah. I mean, is it still Nigga. pixelated and fucked nah, up? No, bro, you, you're good. All that building was holding you back, and you got some light on you. Yeah. You, you're shining in your back. Okay, a little pixelation. Don't move too much. I'd say sit still. Just wherever you were. It, you're going to be like the little nigga in the family that has to hold the <laughs> antenna. Like, just stand right there. All right. With the... With the with the foil and the antenna, just stay were, right there. Johnny, Johnny. You still. weren't pixelated yesterday at all. I don't get it. I did it in the house, no problem at all yesterday. Mm. All right, well, fuck it. Fuck it. Savage yeah. AF, look, well, we'll, what we'll do is we'll have them edit it for the podcast, and yeah. that's, it. that's it. We'll go into the stuff you already gave the rundown. I, I gave the run-up, and now we, we – I was just, run up. Just, just starting into, the, uh, into our first topic, which is uh, the bar is closing. Uh, your, your, your attorney general, William, below the bar, sat down with Wolf Blitzer uh, earlier today, uh, live on CNN. And, you know, it was just a, a disaster live fest, you know. It was, um, it was horrible. It was horrible. What I, what, I, what I will say is that William, below the bar, raised the bar on not giving a fuckness, right? So, like, while he's lowered the bar on justice, he has raised the bar on, yeah, you can't, like, I don't really give a fuck about what you're saying. So, like, yeah, fuck your questions. Like, like he's really, like, <laughs> he even like said he's that. really good. Like, he's, like, I got to give it to him. Like, he's really great at just sitting back and being like, um, could you ask that again? Because I stopped listening once you talked. Right. And then, there was one point <laughs> like, where he said, he can did, you just, he'll lean can in you just, on, like, he told no, me he I could. didn't. I wasn't, just say it again, because I wasn't, it sounds like the same shit, so. Like, and he, I noticed a little black dot on his lip this time, and I'm like, please, please let that be cancer. Like, please let that be, let that be a growth. By the right. way, it sounds oh, like no, Texas yeah, Chainsaw Massacre outside lip. my apartment right now. 
Yeah, what is that? What is that noise? Nigga, it's all of a, nigga, all of a sudden, I got, they usually are lawn mowing and shit during, like, the daytime, and it doesn't affect the show. But all of it, like, all of a sudden, on Pixelation Day, and we trying to talk about some real shit, these niggas want to come out here and chop down the goddamn forest that doesn't exist. I have no trees in front of my house. <laughs> there's not a tree. This there's is not a, a weird one. Tree. Listen, do y'all want to go see Y'all want to go see what's going on? I don't know. Like, let's go see. We go yell at this motherfucker. No, I just, go. I can hear it. Nigga, I don't know. Like, look at this nigga right here. This nigga. The me. This, and, and now he stops when I do it. But this motherfucker right here. He was just, you see him? Y'all see him walking? I got screens on my door mm. and shit, so. Somebody Wait. said, don't cry, Pedro. Trimming. Pedro, don't cry. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm, I'm gonna stay strong today. And then today somebody only. said, "Not because I, this, I got a glow because I look pregnant." <laughs> okay. Well, it, was that publicity? Okay. Yeah, if I, I, I like guess, it. I guess I, I, I look pregnant. Okay, that's shit. that's cool. All right. By the way, anybody that said that, you hey. know, I'm, I'm gonna just say to you. Okay. First off, is it better now? Because I put the Bluetooth. On. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. No. You're, and then you're, when you're I couldn't, way I could, better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I couldn't hear yeah, you at yeah. first because it sounded like you were. It would sound like a vacuum, like somebody vacuuming the sidewalk. It, you could hear. Yeah, you no, know, this nigga on your was side. Trim, he was trimming a bush outside, right? At, like, at the fuck, fuck, fuck today, man. But anyway, <laughs> especially that's fuck why today I was because like, if anybody I sat, that I think we should. I know I sat for. We like, should start over. No, no, no. Let's fuck it. Let's keep going because I sat for an hour or some shit and watched. Motherfucking Bill Barr, our attorney general, lied to Wolf Blitzer right. on CNN for a goddamn too, way too long. Um, you know, one thing he said, though, like, among other things, right? So, first of all, it was offensive. I get the distinction, but he made determinations in the Jacob Blake case that haven't been made by his own Justice Department. Right, so right, he, he separated said. Jacob Blake from George, from from George Floyd. He said he 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 said he was in possession of a weapon. Bill Barr said this on TV today, even though right. the Justice Department has not determined that. Right, so um, that was some bullshit. Although he did separate it from the George Floyd thing, in which he said. Uh, you know, George Floyd was already subdued uh, in handcuffs uh, and, and basically acknowledged that there was no need to sit on his neck like that. So appreciate that, but definitely do not appreciate you, uh, you know, passing judgment on uh, Jacob Blake and saying he was in possession of a weapon when your own right. department has not determined that and neither has the, the, the local officials either. Right. Um, uh, wait a minute. Hold up. Only one mystical set, but pixelated. It. Uh, I, am I pixelated? I don't know. A little bit. A little bit. But it, it, it jumped in and out. It's but clear. It looks we, clear we, on my phone. We can hear clear. you. We can hear you clearly. So. Uh, yeah, and I, it's we, clear on my phone. We, we I don't understand fight. what the problem. We're gonna fight through it. We're gonna fight through it. We, you're fine. Right. Um, but no, the the Bill Barr Bill Barr was wrong on so many different accounts that the the this the crew that talked about it afterwards was like, well, let's just start at his first couple lies. I mean, it was literally categorically lie after lie after lie after lie. And this is the wild part. He sat there with this smug attitude that made me want to, I've never wanted to just jump through the TV and punch somebody in the face yeah. so hard, but I was afraid that little black mole on his lip get on my knuckles. <laughs> so I was like, ugh. I'm like, what's it on knuckle. your lip, bro? Yeah, I think he had. Yeah, what think, you, what, I'm, I'm whose hoping. ass you been kissing? I'm hoping it's the it's the same fucking colon cancer that uh, took our brother Chadwick Boseman and just eats his whole face alive because he can stop. Yeah, it, it, it's hard to tell lies with no bottom lip. So just I hope that black mole on the, his lip just eats. That was a little him. tiny piece of that was a little tiny piece of Trump shit on his mouth. I just don't understand why he even came on there. You knew he would get tore apart. You knew that he would. You know, he basically. Well, you know. I, I would say, and, and El Noob asked, did Wolf call him out? And I would say that Wolf Blitzer challenged him. Not really. As much as he could. 
But what I'm saying is that Bill, Bill below the bar is he's just he's 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 built for this. That's why they that's why they brought yeah. him in. He's Teflon, bro. He's even more Teflon than than the Don Trumpy Dumpty himself, right? Like this, bro, bro. When I say if you watch, if you look it up, the motherfucker doesn't give a fuck. Okay, like oh no he, no no he, you know what he, though he, he, you know what like he he just sits back like his eyes low, calm as fuck. He doesn't get flustered in this shit. He's all good. With everything. Well, he was. It was a smugness. It was a smugness it's so smug. and a, a, a so smug. Like he don't so smug, get but they, not not only, not only the smugness, but the fact that he knows he can yeah. be checked, and still it doesn't matter. But so also you, you get to think he's working for a president that that's how he acts yeah. too. The president knows he can do certain things and get away with it. He basically violated the Hatch Act, but it would take so long for the Hatch Act and to for them to go to court and everything to get in effect. What's up, Denny? Live in the building. Yeah. Um then it would be a problem. It would be after the election. So I think that the main thing is it's, I, I hate to say it. I mean, it's, it's European Americans that are basically allowing all this shit happen because I don't think anybody in the higher up is anybody uh, of color that's making it happen. Yeah. So I think it's definitely them. Well, you know, and you know, I don't like to say blanket statements like all, but, um, okay. So I say all, so, <laughs> So, all up in the, all of them. No, every single yeah, one. No, no. There, there, there's some righteous ones out there fighting. But, but one thing that wasn't important to me, and we're, we're going to get to this also at the end of the show as well. Uh, I, I love to bookend this show, you know, with 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 topics, you right. know, and make it all connect. But um, Bill below the bar, AG of the United States, Attorney General, top cop. He he admitted. In, in, a, in a conversation about mail-in voting, uh, while, while not able to give any concrete numbers or facts about, um, right. a, about widespread mail-in fraud over the, over the history. And of, Wolf Blitzer did, did he check him on that multiple times that right. challenged him. But one thing he did highlight is the fact that he was like, I, I, may, I'm, I voted by mail. Um, although I didn't mail it in, I, he said, I voted absentee, uh, although I, right. did, I, he, I, he didn't, he's like, I didn't mail it in. I, I, I took it directly to my polling place. Right. And it's something we're going to talk about at the end of the show, but I want you to understand that, that even your attorney general circumvented the postal system to walk in his absentee ballot. And that's something I'm encouraging every American to do right now. Request your absentee ballot. Fill it out, walk it in yourself, circumvent right. just like your AG did, just like your attorney general Bill below the bar did. He admitted it to Wolf Blitzer, and that that was the key ding. That was the thing that rung in my ears is that he said right. himself that he walked it into his own local polling place, his own registrar's office, secretary, state, whatever. But do that, America. Your AG is okay, doing yeah, that. Your but, AG yeah, is but, doing but that. You know what? Some, some so you know it. what? Some older people definitely need help. So make sure that you do that for them too. But the bottom line is, he basically is a hypocrite. Uh, Trump is a hypocrite because oh, right. not only does his family vote by mail-in vote or absentee vote, and there's no real legitimate reason because you're right there in the fucking White House, you bitches. Hey. So uh, the end of the day, end of the day, we already know it's about corruption. The fact they're going as heavy as they are after post office. The fact they're trying to make sure that the mail is slowed up. The fact that they're actually pulling mailing boxes and they don't want drop off mail uh, boxes all. where you can no. drop off votes, no. uh, voting boxes. No. So, so I mean, he's afraid of, of a loss and he'll do anything. He's using the power of the presidency to do all of the dirt he can fucking do. Let's be real with it. And anybody out there that don't agree with me, how about this? You can suck a cherry out my ass. Yep, yep. And that's available. And that was disgusting. And that's available. That was disgusting. And that cherry out of his ass is available wherever you get your podcast, guys. Savage AF. <laughs> iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, IR Radio, SoundCloud, Spotify. You I, can get sometimes it. I even discuss myself. Straight from saying I'm that <laughs> to your ears, yeah. Right. I'm totally, I'm totally disgusted with myself. Yeah, I usually don't get too disgusted with myself, but I'm disgusted. <laughs> but no, the end of the day is, <laughs> I'm really, I really don't feel good about myself at all right now. I think that I need a hug, 
and I need to drink some uh, warm milk and go to bed with my old ass. Hey. But <laughs> Tony <laughs> said that's bad even for me. Then we all need a hug, man. Uh, um, no, you know what it is, though? I mean, do you think Bill Barr knows that even once he gets out, um, even if Trump wins, if he helps Trump win, no matter what they do illegal, he knows he can get a pardon. You think that that's the case? I mean, you know, he, he, he was to the point where um, there, there's two people behind you saying, watch your back. Uh, <laughs> no, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, Nick, watch your back. Watch out. <laughs> um, but uh, so he, today he was like, uh, Wolf Blitzer asked him if Trump was reelected, would he, would he continue to serve or would he like to serve as AG another, you know, through, through the second term? And, you know, Bill Barr was like, well, that, you know, that's not for me to, to, you know, speak on or decide or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So he plays this humble role. But essentially, Wolf Blitzer was asking him, would you like to be, uh, you know, the Goebbels to uh, Trump's Hitler for another four years? And he, I think he understood that he can't outright say, hell yeah, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> well he did he did he, but, no he did yeah, point it, like this know. he did he did do he this. was like i i, I can't do. really but you know um so i you know i think they're totally looking to set themselves up for another four years to advance themselves right, towards right. a whole other history in this country which is why we've got gertrude and bruce on the way and other factors and also the uh, the uh, he has a new one his that's coming Leviathan of the Leviathan. Leviathan. I don't even know what he looks like. Leviathan. Yet. I don't know what it's gonna be. Leviathan. But it's gonna bring that shit. No. Just saying. Uh, anyways, y'all, Savage AF. <laughs> we are Black Pedro and Shang. Make sure y'all always following at comedian Shang and myself at Black Pedro and follow at Savage AF Radio. That's the handle for the show right here on IG. Um, so you, we hypocrisy came up. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, All right. a person who got caught today is uh, your lady, Fancy Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. Caught in the hair salon. All up in the salon in San Francisco against the, uh, you know, against the city's regulations and, uh, quite frankly, the state. Right. Um, so let's talk about it because her response is that and it, you know to be honest it's it's almost it's it's a trump to dump in response it's like nah i was set up <laughs> she's literally like i was set up but to be honest when i saw the video before any commentary the first thing i thought was how'd this video get out so right. the the so this apparently the salon owner released the video and yeah so eve's apple uh 7916 our queen of the show if you don't know uh let's set it up properly nancy pelosi the most powerful woman on this planet because she is third in line third in line under yeah to run but, this, so okay. if, if if trumpy dumpty and pence went down right now nancy pelosi is president of the united states if shit goes foul with the election and shit can't be determined, Nancy Pelosi is president of the United States. All She's right. acting president Speaker of the, the United House. States. Speaker of the House but, is third but in line. But the fact that she... But I, I would say that her level of hypocrisy, which is absolutely true. Yeah. I mean, getting your hair done when you weren't supposed to get it done. But the bottom line is, I would just say, okay, you got me. I would be honest and say, you got me. I need to get my hair done. I'm on TV all the time. I need to get my hair done. But guess what? Check this out. Let's put the list of hypocrisy of Trump up and let's see who wins. Let's see which list is the longest. Now, I, and if they're going to check her right. on that, then I need the Republicans yeah. to check him is yeah. just as hard and just as viciously as they would hey. Nancy Pelosi for getting the hair done. Yeah. What about yeah. kids in cages, yeah. you silly yeah. bitch? What about kids in cages? Absolutely. What about blatant racism? What about all that? So fuck him so, and fuck the people that so, said, oh, Nancy got her hair done. But, hypocrisy. but, Whatever, but, but. I think we do, as Democrats, need to hold our party to the same sanctions. So, so, you know, I do want to ask these questions. Like, I, I get it because there, there is a thing where 
I, I totally immediately was like, well, how did this video come out? Because it's, it's interior security camera footage from the salon, right? It's not like paparazzi caught her with rollers in her hair rushing into a salon or some shit, right? Like, it's, right. it's interior footage from the salon itself. And there's nobody else in there but her and apparently the, the stylists themselves. And I, I saw, I think, two other people, but definitely one other person in there. Nancy's uh, defense is that she was told by the establishment that they were allowed to serve one person inside at a time. My thing is, you are Speaker of the House, which means you are our our head of the um, House of Representatives, which is part of the which is a major part of the legislative branch of the American government. Legislative meaning law writing. So right. to say that you weren't aware of the laws in the city of San Francisco, which is in your district, doesn't bode well okay i okay I, but i, I, I also hear you. i, I hear can you. also see it as a setup because i don't know who the owner of this shop is but right i will question how did this footage get out in this way so immediately after inviting her to and understand that the release of that footage also puts that that shop in jeopardy or it should so uh N nancy pelosi is asking for um, uh, 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 an apology from that, that shop, but understand that they just exposed themselves to breaking the rules, rules as well, right? Like, they let a customer in, a guest in, against the, the policy, so why would they expose themselves? Uh, so, well, I, I you, already you already know, like, you already know. I know what, I know what, I know why they expose themselves. You know why they expose themselves? Because they probably got to pay off on it. They got to pay off on it, and that's what they did. End of the day, we already know that the level of hypocrisy. Somebody had said it. I think it, I'm, I'm going to scroll back. I think it was only one mystical uh, that said it. Uh, if I'm saying it right, let's see hypocrisy compared to criminal acts. And let's look at the level of criminal acts that Trump did, and also the. the her getting her hair done, or hair gate, whatever the fuck you want to call yeah. it, compared to <laughs> flaming the flag, you know, um, you know, it basically fanning yeah. the flag and making the flame. flames of, uh, and trying to make people, you know, have division is way worse. So yeah. I don't want to hear none from the Republicans. Yeah. So what? That's minor compared. I know we can hold her accountable. Nancy, don't do that shit again because so, I said so. And you know what? If you do it again, Nancy, I'm not going to come over to your house and give you those little nighttime visits I've been giving you. You know hey, what you like, Nancy. And listen, <laughs> listen, one of our, one of our, one of our, <laughs> you know what you like, Nancy. One of our most critical Democratic voices on this show is Miss Adverb. And uh, she's like, there are conditions, there are conditions, and she didn't do anything wrong. And, and I'm not saying she did. What I'm saying is that. This uh, looks like fuel for the fire for the Republicans. It's um, it's it's not. But but it it's also bitchy. it also does to me look like a setup. But it doesn't sound yeah. good for Nancy to talk about setups like that, right? Like it, it's just it's a total setup, right? Either way, it's a setup, right? Like it, it it's not a good look. I don't know why the shop would allow that footage out because they're in violation as well. Um, which makes me think they're a part of the thing. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, but, but okay, also, you know what? But also, no. Nancy should be spotted there. Uh, also, only one mystical said uh, she should have had somebody come to her house. So the thing was, her usual stylist that does come to her house wasn't available, referred her to the shop. And according to Nancy Pelosi and her team, the shop told her that she was allowed to come in one at a right. time. Like they were allowed to serve people indoors one at a time. So that's why she came in. But she did she did have a personal stylist that was coming to her house uh that wasn't that was available, doing it. But you know what? And I wanna to this place oh, and then oh. that's when the setup happened. So Okay, I wanna say A G Fit three sixty five said, How about Tangerine Hitler telling his voters which is a great name, Tangerine Hitler <laughs> <laughs> telling his voters to vote twice. 
which he absolutely he did. did. did he said too. vote twice. Yeah, he did do that. So I'm he saying wants them to test I, the this is a nothing. He wants them to, to me, test the system out and to test the system. This is a nothing burger. Her getting her hair that, done. That was another y'all need thing. To, y'all need to, that was another. That's thing. a nothing burger. Wolf Blitzer did ask uh, Barr about that, and you know he spent time interpreting what what Trumpy Dumpty said. But the reality is, he he was saying that people should go out. Fill out an absentee ballot, send that in, and then go to the polls and see if the system catches it. Which, the second you fill out an absentee ballot, mail it in, and then go to a poll to fill out another uh, ballot, you're in violation of the law, bruh. And your president just advised you to do that, much like he suggested that we experiment with bleach. Uh, right. It just like he the, said, to in, put ultraviolet body, light up your asshole. Yes, and, and he said uh, he wanted ultraviolet light up your asshole. But also, you know the other thing, and he also can he did took the side of the seventeen year old that killed two people and injured one. And by the way, again, I was what I was saying in the beginning when I, I turned into electronic electronica, Shang electronica was there was a guy named Al Moore. He was going back and forth with me on the in the email while before the show was going on. And he said that well we have an open and carry. But no, you cannot open and carry if you're a 17 year old, a 17 year old with an AR. You simply can't do that. Also, he did not live in the area. He came from another area. What is his reason for being there, other than to start some shit? Period. Okay. And Miss Adverb, you call me the Shang Headroom, but you know what? You know what? Because you said that. Now you ain't getting no more visits. Now your visits are fucked up. Nancy Pelosi's visits are fucked up. I can't even. I can't even give you none now. That's it. Too bad for you. And, and JD Line Pat said exactly to me. I just see an old lady who stays fly, just want to get her hair done. And yeah, like, yeah. like again, I'm not saying she did anything wrong. We're not. What we're saying is that's that's the story they're trying to spin right now. Is that it's minor? Is that she's a, a big hypocrite for that? And I, but uh, you know, and she's like, you know, I was set up. So it's Trumpy Dumpty, and she's. I think she's fighting them back with their own logic. It's like. Fake news, fake news. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I mean, it was as much of the up. shit that they say. <clears throat> and I like that. And plus, you know what? And plus, you know what? She needs. She definitely needed to get her hair did. But the bottom line is, her I don't want to hear nothing from them. Until I see Nancy Pelosi kick a black baby down steps, I don't want to hear shit from y'all. And she got her hair did, and now you know she kick a black baby down the steps. Then we got a problem. But even but then, none, none even then, I'd be like, maybe that baby was black Hitler. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know. Yeah, we or, know. yeah, you Nancy, never know that, Nancy you know, maybe right there's... I'm Man, okay, and so so the bottom line is, I don't... ...even trying to say something as much hypocrisy as they do, period. They got a lot of hypocrisy to fucking make up for before they say something about an old lady getting her hair dead. Shut up. Shut up, all of y'all. And by the way, Al Moore... Shut it. Wisconsin, where you are not allowed to be, you have to be 18 years old to open and carry, and you have to have a permit, and you have to have a license. Period. Yeah, there's no way. So it what did. that dude did, and he's 17. Well, there's no way. Right. He and what he did, what he did, they said, well, he was being attacked. If if and if you if you want to use that logic, if that's the case, you said, well, the people shouldn't have been out after curfew. Well, he shouldn't have been over there. How about that? How about that? And uh, Yoshiko White said, what's the deal with her hair? She tried, She was getting her hair done at an indoor uh, salon, and they caught her on video, and Nancy Pelosi, and they're trying to say she's a hypocrite, and fuck it. It was just a hairdo. She was the only motherfucker in there. It's not like they were licking the clippers and shit. So fuck it. We're going to move yeah. on from that, man, uh, because we are Savage AF. Follow at Comedian Shane. The guy downstairs today. Make sure you follow at, at Black Pedro, and exactly. I'm going to make sure that I work on. I'm going to definitely go to the store and either get a booster or something to do this in the house because yesterday it literally worked fine, and the we did thing. over an hour. It we uh, over we did over an hour and change, and no problem. Not only that, it didn't even stop. So again, my apologies. I'll make sure that I get that stuff together. Mm -hmm. Just know that. Yeah. And yeah, I'll be, wait. And there's a good point that KJ job one two two nine. Where was the 17-year-old's parents? She apparently, now I'm not, I'll double check it though, but it, this is the story. She dropped him off. She dropped him off. And he said, well, he was doing good. He was <laughs> cleaning up graffiti during the day. But guess what? 
Guess what? At night, at he was night, shooting motherfuckers. He killed two people and shot another and maimed another motherfucker. Maimed, uh, K- yeah. And K Job, that's my Detroit peeps. What up, Joe? And you know, it's a that, that you know that's one of the things I'm calling for is a prosecution of the parents because I don't know who owned that gun or whoever, but not only the parents. If they're not the gun owners, then whoever owns that gun should also be prosecuted because there's a a new gun owner myself in the past few months. I've come to understand that I'm completely responsible for whatever happens with my gun. Like, right. If if I take take Gertrude, like if you take if you take possession of my gun, Shane, and go out and do dirt with it, I'm also responsible because I allowed you too much access to my shit and the bullets. Right. So like. And the bullets I bought. So, right? so, so, like, so, so, hey, so, girl, like, so, so, you, so, you, what are you saying you, that you won't let me use your gun? No, no, yeah, yeah, okay. You sure? Because I, I just, nah, I really, man, me. I wanted to go up to Best that's Buy. That's me and my bitch. That's me and my bitch. Okay, but what <laughs> I'm saying is, but what I'm <laughs> saying is, look, I just want to go up to Best Buy and get a few things. I'll bring it right back. I'll bring you Gertrude. I'll bring Gertrude right back. I just, Dirty I'll go Gertie to Best for Buy. that dirt. Okay. You know what? You've changed, man. Because yeah, back in the day, you'd have let me go to no, Best Buy and get I would have, No, I would have, but not now. Not anymore, man. Uh, not <laughs> anymore, man. <laughs> you sure? Hey, y'all. Sure. Yeah, we good, man. Savage AF, y'all. Uh, so check this out. The CDC no longer stands for uh, Center for Disease Control, but apparently it's now the Center for Domicile Control. Um, apparently the CDC is now putting a, a halt on all evictions. Um, right. Based on pandemic uh, rules, which makes sense for the CDC. But I'm just asking the question. How the fuck is the CDC the one who is finally saying that people should not be evicted? Like this is the center for disease control, which now means that much like when they told us last week not to fight with people with masks, which means that anti-maskers are a disease. They're now telling us that evictions are a disease. They're the Center for Disease Control. So they're trying to control a disease, which means that anti-maskers and people being evicted from their homes and living on the streets would only help to spread a disease. And that's all they're trying to do. So yeah, wear a fucking mask and eh. Don't kick people out of their fucking homes right now. But you but know what, though? But how is this though, the Center this for Disease Control that's telling us this? Like, how are they the body? Okay, but you know what? It's, it, no, the Center for Disease Control, what they're doing is, and I'm going to tell you right now, they're stepping in with some other people on step in because they said, they I just to. saw a report on, they have to because I saw a report Nobody that there was being 200 people a day, 200 people a day from one sheriff who was saying that he was going around giving, serving people E- eviction, eviction notices. So you got to think over a month. That's a lot of people homeless and and a lot of people dealing with this situation that we're dealing with out here. And I'm out here by myself right now. So don't ask me why I don't got ma- I got my mask with me, but ain't nobody behind me. And ain't nobody back here. So don't yeah, start no shit with me. Cause I, I, and and ain't nobody cutting my grass because the grass dude. The grass dude apparently has a thing against Pedro. Oh my god, he damn, waited. Bro. You gonna wait till the show starts? He saw the ring light come on, and then he was like, go time. <laughs> I know, because when you first, I was like, what is go? I thought your roommate, uh, somebody was cutting their hair or cutting their hair or some shit. I was like, and what then, is you know, going and then on? he just cut the bush into a square. I'm like, nigga, you should have shaped this into a platypus or a goddamn, some Edward Scissorhands type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga <laughs> you know what they a said? Square. He's a spy. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, fuck. Bro. He's a spy. He spies like he's yeah, a spy he, and he's spying on the show bot. and he's he making sure. Yeah. Oh, also, let me make sure to let you guys know. We, I know we repeat this over and over again, but we want to the, by this. Uh, and by the way, thank you again to Eve underscore. Seven, there she is. Eve underscore Apple 7916. Thank you so much for working with us. We appreciate you. We're going to give big ups to Paul and pop uh, pop up comedy and also uh, killing it comedy company. OK, so uh, I wanted to say make sure you follow us on Instagram. Um, at Black Pedro, follow at Black Pedro. You already know who follow me. And follow us on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. Oh, I'm sorry, SoundCloud. We're also on SoundCloud. So make sure you there subscribe to that shit. All right. That's right. Make it rain. Y'all. Go All right. So so um, you know, it, it it's just it was a bit mind blowing to me that uh 
you know, we, we have the Center for Disease Control as the, as the, as the one entity that's stepping in uh, post uh, congressional relief and executive relief in any kind of way in this pandemic. And understand that even now the CDC's uh, eviction ban or halt, it's not relief, right? Like people are getting, they're still accumulating rent. Um, right. And, and like you mentioned, the sheriff uh, that you mentioned, Shang, he, he only stopped doing it. Like he stopped doing it for this one woman because she was just elderly and was going to have to sit out in the sun. Yeah. And he was and like, I, I can't put heat. her out in the sun and have her have right. a heat spell. He so we'll give her another day. The but they were, they were only going to give her another day. And he's like, but tomorrow, it's like, well, nigga, what's the forecast? Probably about the same in this month, right? Like, it's probably going to be probably going to be tomorrow. about the same. Probably. And she was a really, she was an older woman. And the thing is, okay, it, you got to you got to think about how evil some of the people in power are. Yeah. Okay, the people that are in power go. You know what? I know that's your grandma, but I'm put her out on the street. And they don't give a fuck. Yeah. So why are we giving so much of a fuck? And you know what? That's why the Democrats kill me, okay, with this bullshit of constantly playing fair and playing nice. And we're going to go high when they go low. Look, they evicting grandma. What we need to do is go yeah. start going hard in the paint and start doing dirty shit back to Trump. People said, don't do dirty shit back in. He's going to do dirty shit. Or at least bring up more of the dirty shit he does as much as possible. Flood the ads. Mm -hmm. The Lincoln Project's doing it, and they're Republicans. Yeah. And I, I don't know if you've Call seen their latest uh, ad. They, they hammer. I, did I tell you about their latest ad where they're talking about his personal life? They got audio of his wife dissing. And there's a book coming out of his wife saying his wife is a snake, and she's going to try to um, extort $34 million from him. It, that whole family is a bunch of fucking snakes, mm -hmm. man. That's yeah. crazy. And um, she looks like she looks snake-ish. Ish in the family, a belly crawler is what we call him. Uh, <laughs> only one mystical says, My friend is trying to evict someone who uh, has been subleasing in violation of her lease way before pandemic. I think she should be able to do so. Absolutely. Nobody's saying that uh, renters don't have rights, or, you know, I saw a video of, you know, a property that just got destroyed, you know, internally by the renters who got evicted. But according to the renter, just, you know, you know, he had been trying to work with them and they, they seemed to be some trappers. And once they weren't paying rent, he just, you know, he asked them to move out and they fucked this shit up. Uh, and it's like, and did you, it was that the video where he was threatening them? I swear, nigga, when I see yeah, y'all, I'm gonna kill on you. Site, nigga. I'm like, 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 this nigga was on site nigga. with it, right? So, he said, I swear on all my kids, I, I'm, I'm going to his jail. voice was cracking. He said, I'm going to jail. And when a grown man voice cracked, when he said, I'm going to jail, like that nigga is going to shoot you. He on, was, so yo, you when I say that, him first, nigga. <laughs> You better see him first, because <laughs> if you don't, <laughs> everywhere you go, see him first. Don't let. But him they, see what him. they did was some like, like some old ch childish oh, no, shit. No. They put pain but, up. But yeah. But the 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 point is right. We're not saying that that renters don't or or you know owners property owners don't have rights. But um, you know, in this pandemic, people are being evicted just as a result of the pandemic. And uh, that is something that uh, the CDC is trying to stop right now because it's going to end up with people just getting kicked out into the streets, families, kids, children. Um, and and, no, no, and I that, saw, that's I, just going to add to the pandemic. But it's just sad that that's, that's the line. We, like, that's the agency that had to draw the line, right? It's not the president. But at least, no, no, you know what? I, you know what? The it's, CDC it's, has still been acting janky lately, but I do give them props for that because at least they stepped up where you didn't hear the Republicans step that's up. That's what I'm saying. And yeah, even no. though, but, but you can't say the Democrats didn't step up because the Democrats have been trying to put a bill together to make sure that people, uh, to prevent and also protect landlords, to yeah. protect the landlords and the other, the people that live there. And it's, you know what? Guess what happened? 
Republicans denied it. And what's his name? McConnell left it on the fucking, you know, left it on the floor. On the floor. And, didn't and then push they went it on through. vacation. He, like, deuces. Yeah. So hey. you can't. The CDC, even though they're being manipulated a little bit, they have been trying. And people have been, like, leaving. Like, okay, I can't deal with these Deal motherfuckers with quitting and then two people that back trump um that that and his like one of his right hand men is coming out with another book saying this dude is an imbecile there's too many books he's beyond so out of books. control he is uh there's so many books but what i'm saying is each one of them end up being bestsellers yeah, each one of them end up a million sellers everybody's making money telling the shit we already knew i want to take a break to say d burdett is in the building thank you she's always been a champion of comedy uh, and, and one of those people that we love, uh, Savage AF will always love you. D Burdett, thank you for being here. Savage AF, uh, are we allowed to say, are we, we're not saying the other thing we always say with Savage AF brought to you? <laughs> no, we, we, you say, say whatever, dog. It's our show. Yeah, it's, a, it's our show. We can say it, it whatever matter. we want. To. It's brought to you, it's brought to you by AT&T and what's your phone company? <laughs> Sprint T-Mobile at this point, because they've merged. Yes, it's Sprint T-Mobile and, now my bill and is brought like to you by AT&T. And you are still gonna give props to the uh, world famous Laugh Factory because they are, you know, they they were up to this point. Mm -hmm. But um, the end of the, day, the end of the day, I think that what we're gonna see is the pandemic is gonna. I hope it doesn't go, you know, totally crazy. But the more people that get evicted, because there's still people getting evicted, if not today, next week, and I hope I'm not one of them. But um, yeah. the bottom line is. No, I'm uh, yeah, because I'll start. I'll kill somebody no, and move no, in their house. All y'all will get uh, it. <laughs> you know what? I'd be like, "Hey, man, what you want? I'm I'm living with y'all now. Ain't any shit you can do about it." <laughs> this is it. <laughs> what? Be when your voice changed, look, I'm. Yeah, look, man. I know you don't know me, but now you are gonna get to know me now. I'm gonna put my my shit over in the corner. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> so, no, yeah. but I think that what's gonna happen is so many people are gonna be going through it that they're going to have to address it. They're going to have to. The Republicans have to address it. And if they don't, because it's still Republicans getting evicted too. I don't know why the fuck they don't think Republicans are getting evicted. I don't know why they think by fucking with the post office you're not messing with the Republican vote. You're messing with them too. And there's and, old and, and Republicans. Republicans medications, yeah, their, their medications. Yep. The, the, the pressure's up. Their heart medications is up. And uh, they're not getting their shit on time. The hands is like this. Gnarling. They're getting gnarlies. The gnarls barkleys. Um, Wait a minute. Why are they going back to the gun thing? So that's why <laughs> Jay Fitz Jay, Jay, Jay hey, 365. That's why. Don't need that's why. <laughs> hey. You no, I, you know what, though? You know what? Why did people tell me I'm saying I'm lit corners? Okay. That's okay, hey, Eve. Hey. Um, I, but, I, but you know what happens when I see you in these streets? In these Dance streets. off. You better see me first. <laughs> better see me first, because if you hear the music drop, dance off. Um, no, I'm telling you right now, I think that the whole government, and I know I've been like saying this and you say this, I think there's going to come to a reckoning, but this is what's going to happen. If Trump loses, his people right now are mobilizing to get militias together to go back at the government in case he loses. So all y'all get ready, start going to gun ranges and learning your shit because I'm telling you, Here November 5th, it. November 5th, or no, it's not gonna be Four. November 5th, it's Four. gonna Four. actually be November, the no, it's gonna be the 10th. They, they, they said by the time they get done counting the votes, it'll be the 10th. Okay, it'll be the 10th. By the time they get done counting the votes and if he lose, get ready to fight. Get them ready to fight in the streets because they're already shooting at us with marbles and paint guns at in in Kenosha, Wisconsin, they said people were hurt. Fist fights were started. Man, get ready! And I'm glad that I'm gonna stand right behind Pedro because Pedro can actually shoot now. So if <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done it at first. But guess what? <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm going to stand behind Pedro. Go, Pedro, they're over there, man. Get him! Get him, man! He's right behind working you. Every I'm week, stand. Dog. We're working yeah. every week to get better, Tom. So wait a minute. Wait, I'm gonna just aside from that. Yeah. Well, and I'm going to go to this. Uh, we're going to go back to the next topic. But okay, so didn't All right, you order? Wait. All right, hold, the, on. Uh, hold on, Bruce. Yeah, I ordered Bruce, and we're we're, we're a little stuck on him. I'm I'm working on that. But we got like a minute left on this feed, so we're going to have to restart and do a, an extra hour tonight, if if y'all don't mind. Uh, well, let's if they if they want to know because I'm sitting outside, so. Yeah, uh, most people looking like a win. Most people hate when we do an extra hour, but I'm sorry. I, I, we might have to tonight, y'all. I'm sorry. 
Uh, if you're really right. opposed to us doing an extra hour or whatever, let us know. And we'll, you know, we'll, we'll just fuck niggas will go back to the woodshed and work on it for tomorrow. But uh, <laughs> I see some yeah, thumbs I'm up. Good. I see a Lego. Okay. Well, I see some yeses. All right. Well, fuck it then. That's it. All right. So we got 30 seconds on this one. We are Savage AF, y'all. This is at Comedian Shang right here. I'm at Black Page. Um, right. Stay following us, guys. Uh, we're going to do this Monday through Friday on IG Live. We're about to connect our fans into it so we can bring you all in, talk to you live. Um, but in the meantime, right. we're going to re-up this live in like five, four, three, two, one.